All right, on this Tesla timeout, I've got a couple of options that I'm gonna show you some accessories. Now these I purchased from Amazon um, and they're different accessories and I'll put them on now. So these are what I purchased. I purchased a, these are kind of like a rubber covers for the door locks and some of the hinges. These are rear uh, vent covers for the rear uh, vents that come in the floor. This is, as it says, it's a top fit center console ABS cover. So instead of a wrap, it's a plastic cover piece that goes over the entire console. And this is a set of rear uh, door sills that say Model 3 on it, uh, silver color to match the ones that come with the drivers. So as far as insulation goes, it's pretty straightforward. You can see all this stuff online. Uh, most of them are just stick or push on, especially for the door sills. And the ABS cover, you just peel back the 3M tape and it goes right on. So it's not a wrap, it's actually a cover that's very, very thin, maybe a millimeter or less thin, thick, and it just goes right over the thing. So I'll show you how it looks at when I'm done. I'm gonna install it now and show you how it looks. All right, so here's the original um, door sills that came with the Model 3. They just put them on the front, so those aftermarket ones that I got from Amazon, that shows you what it looks like there. Just double-sided tape with a sticky part, and as you can see, they pretty well blend in with the originals, so they look pretty good. And for the door covers, for the lock covers, they were just plastic pieces like this. They just pop right in and just cover the bolts and all that stuff. And for the rear doors, they have this component here, which is a cap that covers the hinge mechanism and the ball joint there, I guess, the swinging arm part. And that works pretty good. So here's that center console, uh, not wrap, but it's actually three pieces of ABS plastic that uh, have double-sided tape over the place that will um, just adhere basically over the uh, piano black finish. And this is a matte finish that I got, works really nice. They're precise fit, so they just uh, cover right up, they snap right in, and you just uh, push them down and then they uh, let this set overnight. Nice, uh, again, for the middle one and for the top one. Uh, everything works really nice uh, from that perspective. It uh, doesn't Im impact anything, and uh, I like it that it doesn't leave my greasy fingerprints. So uh, uh, certainly a, a nice accessory. Again, these are accessories that I, that I all bought from Amazon. And I'll put uh, links, uh, or I'll put descriptions. I'll try to get the links. I'll put them in the show notes here. Uh, but again, I don't have any discounts, referral codes, or anything like that. These are just items that I bought that I liked, and they seem to work well. Okay, another uh, item I got was from Tesloid Canada. They're a Toronto-based company here, and this is a Model 3 badge. That will go parallel across on the other side there to the trunk. So let me put it on and see how it looks. All right, here's the finished product. Um, pretty close to being level. Tried my best. Used a level, some tape. So I think it looks pretty good, pretty proportionate. And uh, let's hope it sticks on. But a uh, little pressure, let it sit for a bit, and then peel these stuff off. It's really easy with that template that it comes with to uh, keep it straight. Just a matter of putting some, I use some green painter's tape just to line everything up with a level and measure it uh, from each side, from the side in the bottom of the trunk lid to try to get it as best I can. Okay, another item from Tesloid Toronto is the Model 3 Snow and Mud Flaps. It's a set of four. This I bought as well. Um, Tesloid actually is sending me some stuff for promo, but what I did is I originally put an order in for a bunch of stuff and then I reached out to them saying, hey, do you do reviews? And I said, yeah, we'd love you to do something. You're Canadian. So they're sending me a few things, which I'll do in another show, but this stuff I bought, and this is a set of four mud flaps, which everybody, of course, says you need to get for the Model 3 because of the paint chips and all that stuff. These are molded ABS with the pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and install them and see how they look. So for the installation of the front mud flaps, uh, the two pins that were provided, the clips, were too small that um, they provided. The holes in the mo on this Model 3 is, are bigger, so I actually had some left over from my Nissan. I got, had a bunch of clips, and they're generally fairly uh, uniform, but some are a little deeper and wider than others. So I was able to find a couple that fit. So you may have to get some different clips depending on your application. And then for the top hole, you drill just a small pilot hole, make sure it's thinner than the screw. They, they provide you with these screws with washers, and then you just drew it in. You're just going into the plastic, so you don't want to over torque it, and that holds this on. Now for the rear ones, they're easier because basically you don't have to drill or, uh, or provide any of the clips uh, because it actually uses the Model 3 clip that's already there. So there's one that's provided that's under there. You just have to take it off. And then uh, there's just a tab here that you have to put on. So you wrap it in um, under the bumper, uh, under that, um, the edge here of the quarter panel. 
uh, it just kind of clips in underneath there and, and it'll hold this from coming out. And then for underneath application, it uses the existing bolt that's there. Uh, if I can find it here, let me just find it. It's way under there. There it goes. So that one. So it uses that and just take it out and put it back in. And you'll see they give a nice uniform fit and they wrap around the rear. And I'll do the same for the front. All right, so here's the completed mud flaps. I got the uh, right rear on. Took a, now, it's interesting that um, these ones, the other front one had the pins in it. So I guess just Tesla forgot to put them in the other wheel well. Luckily I had spares. So uh, I guess that's something that you gotta check on the inspection to see if it has all its pins. But yeah, everything's in and uh, it all looks pretty good. All right, here's a final look-see and some daylight of the Amazon accessories that I put on, starting with the uh, center console cover. Again, it's not a wrap. It's actually an ABS plastic material with uh, 3M tape on the back. It's precisely fit to cover everything for this. So uh, very, very nice. Here's those mud flaps. Kind of get a better view uh, in the light. Uh, rear ones. Again, I purchased these from Amazon. Actually, no, sorry. These came from Tesla Toronto, excuse me. And uh, just a few things to personalize it, add a little touch to it, make it a little bit different, in my opinion. The um, Model 3 door sills, as I put in, again from Amazon. So they look pretty good, match the uh, factory ones really well, look like they're, they come from the factory. Again, I'll see how all this stuff holds out. There's the door latch covers, just again, another little nice nicety that doesn't cost too much it's a usually you know it's a one minute install for these things really really quick and another accessory that i bought on my own these actually came from costco believe it or not these are the uh, 3d spider uh, all weather mats uh, sets that are actually custom fitted kind of like your weather tech um, they went on sale about a month ago or so and uh, i just happened to be looking and grabbed them uh, from Costco they came like two days later it was really fast and these are really nice mats they're already getting dirty from me getting in and out and shuttling people around today uh, but I would definitely look at these mats if you're interested in all season mats uh, they are not paying me for this I bought these myself um, and there's the rear one again it's one solid piece it's got uh, uh, lips or uh, rises on all, or all the end to contain you know snow and all that stuff so you know, here in Canada, we're definitely going to put these to good use. So uh, anyway, they were recommended, so I end up picking these up too. So I think that's about it for today, uh, for at least the last couple of days that I've been putting this stuff on.